Good morning. I've come to Ashford in the water this morning. I'm going to meet my friend Jessica, have a little posture around this beautiful village and grab a coffee, hopefully. You'll have seen me share this place before. I absolutely adore it. It's where I always come in the summer months and have a nice picnic. But today the river's really high. Obviously it's uh, middle of winter still. It's not quite worked its way into spring yet. Last week we had so much snow, uh, loads and loads of snow. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's all just mud around here. <laughs> not very, uh, not very pleasant. Just squelching on through. But um, it's nice to be back out again. Last week, Heidi was really poorly. She just was sick for, she was off school for five days, sick for even longer than that, and had a temperature which went up to 39.7 one evening. Um, oh yeah, she had a horrible virus, bless her. But finally, she's back to school, I'm back out. We've got some sunshine, which is wonderful to have back again. It just feels like it's done nothing but rain and snow lately. So it's, yeah. It's really nice to get back out and be in one of my favourite places, catching up with a friend. Good morning. I am in the county of Nottinghamshire today at a place called Thelly Priory, which is in the village of Thelly, or just on the outskirts of. Now, it was once an Augustinian priory set up in the early 1100s on the site of something much older, a hermitage um, where brother Robert lived. Now, since then, it was dissolved in 1536 by good old King Henry VIII and from there it went on to become a family home with a beautiful garden and today I'm here to see if the daffodils are in bloom. This here would have been the former monastic fish pond. This is where they keep all their fish. All the peonies coming back to life. Up there, those woods all along the top. That is where my favourite Derbyshire bluebell woods is. Not many people know about it, so it's my little secret. 
but they are absolutely superb. Got some of my favourite bluebell photos ever over there. Gosh, it's such a beautiful garden to come to at any time of year. It's really lovely. In the summer, you have all the roses and the peonies, which you can just start seeing that they're uh, starting to begin life at the winter dormancy. But as a winter garden, there's so much life going on. It's beautiful. The range of hellebores that they've got is really lovely. And you can still see the crocus and the snowdrops. And obviously the daffodils are starting to make a move. It's just a really, really lovely garden to come to if you can get to this part of the country. It's really nice. I'll bring you back here. June is spectacular. These are all roses, absolutely stunning roses and there's lots of peonies. All along here will be loads of tulips. You can see the peonies coming up now. And all the tulips and other bulbs, they're all sprouting up. I absolutely adore this bench. It's surrounded by roses. It's a lovely, lovely spot to come. The scent when you're sat there with all of these lovely roses. Can't wait to bring you back here. It is so beautiful. I've just been talking to uh, a lady that's been doing some gardening and um, she was just topping the daffodils up so that they put more in every year and um, she was saying that they'd expect them to be out already by now but because of the horrible weather that we've had lately that it's just not allowed them to flower because they need sunshine so hopefully this rain will disappear soon and uh, I'll be back when they're all out in force.